So today we're drawing arrows for proton transfer reactions. We did previously, we drew curved arrow mechanisms for Lewis acid, Lewis base reactions. This is similar. We're going to see the same convention where the arrows must start with the lone pair of electrons on the base uh, here. And then the arrow is going to go towards, in this case, a partially positive H on the Bronsted acid. However, as that bond begins to form, we always have a second arrow where we break the bond from the H to the, Lewis, the Bronsted acid. So there will be two arrows for each of these reactions. So a couple of examples, we look for the lone pairs. So this NH2 minus will be our base. The H I've drawn in bold for you, so we know who it is. This is going to start to make a bond to that H and we break the little bond from the oxygen to the hydrogen. This is already feeling positive because of that dipole. The new products then are alkoxide, CH3O, with three lone pairs and a minus, and the NH3 that has one lone pair and is now neutral. So you'll see that we started with a minus and a neutral and we end up with a minus and a neutral. On the second reaction, we have a lone pair on this carbon and this arrow will start at the lone pair, go towards the partially positive H on water, break that pi bond, and we will form the CH3 carbon, triple bond carbon, bonded to the H. This is our new bond. That was the lone pair. And we now have an OH with a minus charge on that oxygen. It had two lone pairs in the water, and now it has three lone pairs because this bond was broken. 